All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we are going to be talking about adding account numbers to the chart of accounts. Um, let's go ahead and start with our exercise right here. We're going to start in the sample company as always. So here I am in my QBOA account and I'm going to select sample company. Now this um, exercise is very finicky. The sample company is very finicky when it comes to this exercise, let me put it that way. So it's very important, even if you are have previously been working in uh, the sample company, if you did the last exercise that we just did, it's important that you log out, don't just close the window, but log out, and then come back into a fresh version of the sample company in order to do this exercise. So you wanna make sure that that you're opening a fresh copy. Um, while that's loading, let me go ahead and go over to the exercise. Right here is our important note. You want to make sure that you have uh, followed this uh, because it's very finicky in the sample company. Now, it's not finicky in your own account. So if you want to do this in your own account, just turn on account numbers and then turn it off again. You are, of course, welcome to do that. So here we are in the sample company. And by the way, to log out, you would just click uh, the little R circle and then sit, hit sign out. So that'll take you back to an Intuit sign in. You just sign in like normal, load the sample company like normal. And um, so you want to make sure that you're starting fresh for this exercise. Okay, so here is our scenario. Craig's new accountant has asked you to set up account numbers for a few of his, of his major balance sheet accounts as follows. And then here are the numbers for the different accounts. How would you set this up for him? Okay, so we're gonna go to step one. The first thing we're gonna do, again, this is because of the finicky nature of the sample company, is we're gonna have to kind of load the chart of accounts first. Um, so here we are, well, let me go back to the exercise. So we're gonna go to uh, accounting and then chart of accounts, and then we're gonna click that uh, see your chart of accounts button. So here accounting, then chart of accounts, then we're gonna click this see your chart of accounts button. It's super important that you do that in the sample company before proceeding to the next steps. Okay, so step two is to actually turn on account numbers. So we're gonna do that by clicking the gear icon and then selecting account and settings. So here we are, I'm clicking the gear icon, then I go to account and settings. All right, now while that's loading, let's go back to our exercise, steps three through six. We're gonna select adv the advanced tab on the left, and then in the chart of accounts section, we're gonna click uh, the edit or pencil icon, and I'm gonna show you a little trick about that. Okay, so here we are. We are first clicking the advanced tab, and then you'll notice in account and settings, all of these little sections, so they're kind of groups you can see if I highlight them, how they're kind of dark, and then you have uh, the little line, I can't point to it, but you can see the little line. So you can click the pencil here, or you can click anywhere in this section, and what that does is it kind of opens it up for editing. So what I'm gonna do here is I've opened it up for editing, I'm going to click Enable and Count Numbers, and then click Show account numbers, and before I get ahead of myself, let me go back to the exercise. You should be following along. This is what I have just done. Step five, I have checked enable account numbers and then clicked show account numbers, and then we're gonna click save and done. So we go back here. I'm gonna click save right here, and then click done. All right, so now you'll notice that we have a new column in the chart of accounts, which is for that number. So let's go back to our exercise. Um, as I just pointed out, now that you have enabled account numbers, you're gonna see this new column, okay? Then I'm gonna to go to step seven. Now we're going to assign the numbers to the accounts. There's two ways to do this. Um, so the first way is to just edit the numbers individually. Okay, so to do that in step seven, in the checking account row, in the action column, click the drop down arrow and select edit. So let's take a look at that. 
Okay, so here we're going to add a number to the checking account. Here is the action column. Here is the little drop down arrow. And then I'm going to select edit. So when I do that, notice now I have this account number field. If you did the previous exercise, which was just to create an account in the chart of accounts, you didn't see that. You just, this was all full of name. But now I have a field to be able to enter the account number. Let's go back to the exercise. So step eight, um, now we're gonna enter 10200 and click save. Okay, so I'm going to enter 10200, and then I would click Save. Now these account numbers, again, Craig's accountant asked for this. Um, this is some industries like to have account numbers. Some accountants like to have all of their clients be uh, be standardized. So if it's the accountant that likes to do that, or eventually if you decide personally that you like to have them, then you can do that. Okay, so let's go back to the, uh, the exercise here and let's just read this note. Now, because you selected show account numbers in account and settings, remember that was that second little checkbox. The number will also appear as part of the account name. So let's go back and see. So here was the number and now we have that as part of the account name. Okay, if you turn this setting off, so that check it, second checkbox, um, the only time you'll see the account number is when you actually edit that account. So if you want it to show on reports and when you're using it, then that's when you are gonna uh, turn that on and you'll see it right there. All right, so let's go back, go to step nine and talk about the second way to enter account numbers and that's to do it in bulk. So the second way, is um, step nine, we're gonna click the pencil icon just above the accounts grid. Okay, so here it is in the picture. Let's see what it looks like in the account, uh, in the sample company. So here we are, we have this little pencil in the, this is the accounts grid. Okay, so I'm clicking this little pencil. And notice that it opens up and makes it um, editable for me. Okay, so I can now enter my account numbers as according, I want to, according to the, uh, the scenario. So we are gonna have uh, for savings 10300, and then for accounts receivable 11,000. So accounts hunt, a savings account 10300, and then accounts receivable 11,000. And I think actually in the, um, in the scenario, if I go back up here, there was one more, which was two or 20,000 for accounts payable. So I could, let's see, we're on step 10. I could scroll down. It's not in the picture because it didn't fit. Um, but I just say, what did I say? Um, 20, we'll say, I can't remember. Let's just look at it. All right, what did I say it was? A 20,000, okay? So going back to step 10, we're gonna put 20,000 right there. And then when I'm done, I just scroll up to the top here and click save. All right, and so now I have assigned the account numbers to the chart of accounts, okay? And then that's it for this exercise. In the next one, we're gonna talk about merging accounts.